Hey guys, what's going on? It's Michael from American Offshore. Coming to you today from a 2018 Sea Hunt BX25 Forward Seating Edition. Uh, what we're gonna talk about today on this video is how to remove and replace this live oil lid with a brand new custom clear cast acrylic live oil lid with your custom logo on it. So let's go ahead, let's get started. We'll talk about the process uh, that you can expect from American Offshore, how long things take, and just a, a rough cost estimate. So the first thing we wanna do, we wanna remove the four screws from this live oil lid and take it back to the shop. So let's get started. All right guys, so the first thing we wanna do is we wanna remove this live oil lid. And basically what you're gonna do as the customer, you're gonna, you're gonna send us the specs of this live oil lid. Uh, send us some pictures if you can. Pictures tell a thousand words without even having to relay really in, any information to us. So send us a picture, send us the, 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 the width, and the height, and especially the thickness of your live oil lid, because that's really important. Basically, the, the thicker the material, the, the more cost it's gonna be for the, the product. So it's really important to, to make sure you get the thickness right, not just for the cost, but also when it gets reinstalled back into your boat, you wanna make sure that this the, the latch matches up well with your weather seal and whatever, whatever components you may have. So. Um, send us those specs. That's the very first thing that you want to do to get the process started. And, um, and we'll get you a quote from those things. So to remove this live oil lid, I've already looked at it, at what's needed to be done. And basically we just need a Phillips head screwdriver and a, uh, a three eighths inch, uh, socket. And that's, that's all you're going to need to remove this. It's a piece of cake, probably takes five minutes tops to do so. So you're talking removing this in five minutes, sending it to us if you need to, or send us a tracing. Um, a tracing would be great too. And really the, the reason behind that is to, to match the odd shapes. You can tell on this one here, we've got a smaller radius in these top two corners here and a larger radius on the bottom. So without sending us the, the, the tracing or some form of a template or the old lid itself, we really can't match the, the exact specs that you need for it to go back onto your boat. So. It's really crucial to get those to us. And uh, later in the video, we'll talk about how you can print this, the, the design that you receive from us, you can print it to scale at home and physically put it on here to make sure that it's exactly what you need. So we'll talk about that a little bit later in the video, but right now we're just gonna remove this and um, we'll get this thing to the shop. So let's go ahead and remove this. Four screws in the back, that's all this is gonna be. So these, uh, Check out those friction hinges from Gym Lux. Uh, Gym Lux. They're, they're highly recommended. Between this compression latch and those friction hinges, I mean, it's just, it's a, a great product to have on your boat, especially if you're offshore and things are getting tossed around, you're trying to reach for a bait. I mean, it's, it takes a lot of pressure to move this up and down. So it's a, a great, a great feature to have on your boat. And if you don't have the friction hinges and a compression latch, let us know, we can put them on your brand new lid for you. So let's go ahead and remove this here with these four screws. All right, so four screws. I think that took me a total of probably just shy of about five minutes and that's because I had manual hardware. If I had a uh, drill motor or something like that, I could have done it much faster, but um, we got the lid off. And I, I noticed some of this hardware is a little bit bent. So now it's probably a good time to go ahead and kind of address your hardware for gosh, 30 cents each. Um, just replace them if they need it. And I noticed this, this hardware didn't have any sealant. So um, when it does get reinstalled, we're gonna put some sealant on there and, and try to hold those hinges a little bit, little bit better on the fiberglass. So um, yeah, everything looks good. But now is the time when you have this removed to just kind of kind of readdress everything that's going on. If you need to replace your seal, let us know. We'll, we'll replace the seal for you or uh, we can send you a fresh seal. Just let us know what kind of seal you need and, and the, the, the width of it and things like that. So just kind of address what you have going on and just clean up whatever problems you may have right now while you have this off. So um, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but the hardware is a little bit bent. So we're gonna replace We'll just go ahead and replace all this hardware on this one. Um, probably less than three bucks for, for all four of them. So, and uh, we'll get started. So now we've got our lid removed. We're just gonna leave all the, the components on there. So 
for example, if you were to remove this lid and send it to us, I recommend just, just keeping everything on here. Keep your, your latch in place, keep your hinges in place and ship it to us exactly like you have it. And what we're gonna do basically when we get it back to the shop, we're gonna just remove all the, all the hardware. We're gonna set it aside. If it's in good shape, if it needs to be replaced, we'll let you know. And um, in this case, all the hardware looks good. So I think we'll just, we'll probably just end up removing, removing this and, uh, and redesigning this lid exactly to the specs of, of what it is. And we'll just replace it with a brand new logo. Um, I think you can kind of see it there. It's got a little Sea Hunt logo, but we're gonna put a custom logo that the customer wants. Um, I believe it's for their business. So whatever logo you want, let us know. We'll put it on that lid for you. And um, the edges, we'll, we'll chamfer them exactly like your old lid. We'll polish them. And this is gonna just be an amazing product when you receive it from us. So. Um, yeah, five minutes of you taking the time to send this to us. And for for less than, this one here would probably equal out to about 125 bucks, just the dimensions of it. So for 125 bucks, this customer is gonna replace this kind of scratched up lid. They're gonna have their own logo on here. It's gonna it's gonna just make the, the boat pop. The, the friends are gonna get on, get on here and just, they're gonna see this new lid and think, man, that's pretty dang cool. Where'd you get that from? And hopefully he says American Offshore. And that's the goal, so. Let's go ahead, let's get this back to the shop. Let's remove all the components and let's get this thing started in, uh, in design. We got it removed. Before we head to the shop, I wanted to kind of make a video and just talk to you a little bit about the process, what you can expect from us on day one and what really helps us out to, to make the process smoother for you. So the first thing, before you even make contact with us, if you can take a picture of your product, get us the dimensions, the width, the height, the thickness of what your product is. The thickness is really crucial. So, so please let us know that as soon as you can. Uh, pictures say a thousand words. So if you can send us a picture, great. So send us an, an email to sales at americanoffshorefishing.com. Give us a call 805-400-FISH or visit our website www.americanoffshorefishing.com. Send us pictures, send us your dimensions. Any other information you may have about your situation, please let us know and we'll, we'll get you a quote as soon as we can. So the process to do so for that, you can kind of budget about one to two days of back and forth between us and you about what you're needing for your situation before we even send you a quote. And we can kind of give you a ballpark price during that, but we really want to send you a quote so you're, you're, you're comfortable with the price before we proceed to design. And once you approve the quote, you can expect to design in, in one to two business days, maybe up to three business days, depending on how busy we are, but we try to get you a design as soon as possible within three business days. When you get the design, it's gonna be emailed to you in a PDF format. You can print that design to scale at home, and we'll show you a little bit later in the video of how to do so. So that way you can print the design, take it to your boat, put it exactly where it needs to go and make sure it's gonna fit your specs. Um, so once you get that design, try to do so if you can and, and verify all aspects of the design. So, and, and once you approve the design, then that's, that's what we're going to design your panel off of. So just double check everything, triple check every, everything. If you need to, for your design, make sure it's going to fit for your situation that it's really crucial to, to do so during the design process, the quoting process up front, we can kind of just, you know, make it a roundabout estimate for your your situation really the price is going to stay pretty much the same throughout the whole process if it changes a little bit we'll just kind of keep it the price how it is uh, obviously if it goes up we'll just have to readdress readdress the quote and, and make sure that's correct so um that's kind of what you can expect from us so one to two business days just back and forth of the the talking about the your project and another one to three business days for the design so five business days, let's just say, for the, the design to be finalized by you, the customer, and us to manufacture your product. You're looking at about three business days to manufacture it and get it shipped out. Um, once we do get a little bit busier, I think it'll probably bump up to five business days, but right now we can, we can do it in about three business days. So removing this from your boat and having it back on your doorstep, you're probably looking somewhere about two weeks um, you know, 10 business days would probably be a good time frame. And um, yeah, whatever you need. Uh, we're not just gonna do live well lids, we're gonna do electronics box space plates for VHF and whether, uh, whatever switches you may have up top for your T-top or, 
or down low. We're not going to do switch panels. We're not going to do the, the panels for your instruments or anything like that. We're going to stay away from that. We're just going to, we're going to do products for, for virtually everywhere on the boat, uh, speaker rings, whatever bezels you may have hatches, uh, for, for certain areas. And, um, yeah, let us know what your situation is, what you need, and we'll get you a quote as soon as possible. So that's kind of the, the time frame of, uh, of what you can expect from us. And, um, just a rough cost estimate estimate for this. It's probably going to be somewhere $125 without the hardware. So just the, the, the half inch acrylic clear, uh, cast acrylic with a logo designed exactly to your specs to match your old, uh, lid or whatever new product you may have going in. That's kind of a good, uh, cost for this one. And, um, Maybe it'll come in cheaper than that. I guess we'll see. But if you do need hardware, let us know. We'll throw that into the quote and um, we'll get you nice Gym Lux hardware. Gym Lux is all we're gonna use. Uh, made in the USA, high quality stuff. It's uh, it's a, a premium product. So it's it's well worth the upgrade. If you do not have these this hardware on your live oil lid, you're gonna want it, trust me. And um, yeah, so the next step, we've, we've got this removed from the boat. We're gonna go back to the the office and we're going to design it and uh, we're going to send the, the design to the customer, let them uh, make changes if they want to or approve it. And then, uh, then we'll get it quote. So um, next part of the video, we're going to show you a little bit about that design. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we're back on the boat. We've already gone through design. We sent the design to the customer. We've already we've already verified all the dimensions on this uh, live oil lid. So uh, basically the next step is to install the live oil lid, but I wanted to show you something first that, that we offer to our customers that don't want to send their old lid to us or their old product for that matter, anything really, not just a live oil lid, but anything. They don't want to send it to us because they don't want to miss time out on the water. You know, if you go out with your live well lid and I mean, you can, you can go do what you need to, but a lot of people don't want to leave the dock or, or take their boat out without having everything ready to roll. So a lot of people don't want to take their stuff off, send it to us. And we totally understand that. So we want to make it easy for you to, to get us the specs on your product and we'll match those specs. So when you get your design, you can print your design to scale. So this, this is the actual scale of the live oil lid that we're making for this uh, boat here. And I've already verified it, but this is part of the, the PDF design that you get from us. And on the design itself, you'll see this. It's a ruler that's gonna be on the design. You can print the paper out. And all you do is you, you take an actual ruler when you print this and tape it all together. You, you put a ruler on here and make sure it's actually to scale. So this is actually a 12 inch ruler right here in front of us right here. So. Um, I've taken it, I've made sure that this is accurate to scale. I've assembled it. You can see all the, it's just pieces of paper, 11 by eight and a half sheets of paper that you can do in your home printer. Uh, we try to make it as easy as possible. So this is the design and we're going to test fit it into the slot to, to make sure this is correct. Now I already, already know this is going to be correct. But in this scenario, you, the customer, would print this out, take it to your boat, and test fit it before you tell us, yes, the design is good, go ahead and manufacture it. So that's, that's the whole point of this. So it's exactly what you think it is. You take it, you lay it where it needs to go, and sure enough, it fits perfectly. So um, that's just something we can do for you. I wanted to showcase that and show it to you and just kind of kind of show you what to do with it when you get it so everything's good to go let's go ahead and um let's go ahead and install this live oil we're running out a little bit of a daylight so i'm gonna try to i'm gonna try to speed it up so stay tuned
time to install our product. Here's the final product. This is the lid where we use the same hardware that the customer had, but if you need to replace your hardware, let us know. Or if you wanna upgrade your hardware, let us know. This Jim Lux hardware is, is second to none in the industry and, and your, yourself 10 years from now will thank you for buying this hardware. So we've got our brand new lid. Everything looks good, we've already test fit it, but um, we'll go ahead and install this. So I do recommend, we're not gonna do it today. We're, we're probably gonna come back out and, and do this, but you do wanna put new sealant on your hardware when you install this. So just a marine grade RTV, a 3M product, try to put that on threads. It'll just hold everything nice and tight and just make the, make everything just last longer. It won't rattle, it won't vibrate loose. So it's, it's a good thing to just go ahead and add some sealant in this step. And uh, yeah, so we're not gonna do it right now, but that is my recommendation to you to, to do so when you install these products. Ready to install it officially now. So we're, we're back with our, our Phillips head screwdriver and a 3 8 inch socket. And that, that's all this takes to install this. So for you, the customer, you're talking about five minutes of removing the lid, maybe 10 or 15 minutes taking the time to to send us the, the, the specs, the pictures, the dimensions, the shapes, everything about your product. So 30 minutes tops to, to send us the information and uh, probably another 30 minutes to get this reinstalled. And, and that's all that you need to do as the customer, an hour of your time, and you can upgrade the look of your boat for 150 bucks. I mean, why not? Why would you not do that? You, you spend, gosh, 600 on fuel on a fishing trip, you know, what's what's 150 bucks to upgrade your, the, the look of your boat completely custom to, to what you want. And every time you get on this boat, you're gonna think, gosh, that's, that's gorgeous. I love that, I'm glad I did that. So thank yourself, go ahead and, and upgrade your lid and, um, and just let us know what we can do for you. Any products, electronics, uh, box face plates, uh, rock wireless phone chargers with a custom acrylic plate behind it that just installs with one hole into your dash. Bunch of products, speaker rings, some bezels, hatches, doors, whatever you need, let us know and we'll uh, we'll make it work for you. So we're gonna go ahead and install this live oil lid and uh, we'll go ahead and shut up and, and do this. Just like that, we're done. I'm gonna show you a little bit about the, this compression latch here. So here's the, the live well lid installed, perfect fit. And you can see down the line, see how that's a little bit raised? That's fine. In the back, it, it's pretty flush in the back. But the, the reason it's so high is just the, the weather seal that's on it right now. This is probably a little bit too big of a, of a weather seal, but that's okay. It'll work out just fine. So I adjusted the latch. It probably needs to be readjusted a little bit. It may be a little too tight, but um, if you didn't have this compression latch, the live oil lid would just sit up like this, right? So when it turns, so it's like this. And when you lock it, you'll see it compress the lid. You see that little bit of compression there? So now your live oil lid is completely sealed and the bait won't, or the, not the bait, the water won't come out on the passengers and your, your bait will stay fresher longer. So um, highly recommend these latches and the, uh, the, the Jim Lux friction hinges. I'll probably, I'm gonna loosen that up a little bit, but just for display purposes, I wanted to show you. So that's the, uh, the replacement of the live oil lid. And like I said, for 150 bucks, you can replace yours. And that's just kind of a roundabout number. Yours will, will vary based on thickness, like we discussed, and obviously the size. And if you do want the, the components, let us know. We'll throw that into the estimate as well. But um, it's a, an, a very easy, fast, great upgrade on your boat to make it completely custom to you I'm back. So I wanted to kind of walk around the, the boat and show you 
just a few things that we can we can do for you so this electronics box up here we can upgrade this entire thing because if you look there's little little line right there so basically that's a piece and that's a piece so upgrading it and making it just one solid piece probably black i think would look pretty pretty amazing so upgrading that we can do that that's a piece of cake um we're not going to do panels so we're going to stay away from those we're not going to do switch panels the little cup holder area here i think that'd look pretty cool if there was maybe a black a black trim going around here just to match the panel i think that would look great maybe upgrading this hatch would be kind of neat maybe if it was clear you could see exactly what was in there if you got your buddies hanging out and they they don't know where everything is just making that a clear a clear hatch i think would look pretty cool up front we got another hatch here maybe making that black i think that would look pretty neat a lot of white on this boat which is great but if you wanted to make something truly yours and customize it to how you want it not how the manufacturer built it then uh let us know we'll do whatever whatever you want maybe a, a clear anchor hatch might be kind of cool anything we can do for you guys just let us know and we'll we'll gladly help you out all right well i think uh i think we're done here with this install and this live well lid it turned out really great and really really happy with the results so i think the customer is really going to enjoy it too let us know what we can do for you shoot us an email sales at american offshore fishing.com you can go to our website www.americanoffshorefishing.com and give us a call 805 400 fish 3474 if you don't know how to spell on your phone's keypad so give us a buzz let us know what you have going on and what we can do to help you with your custom acrylic marine products and how we can upgrade your boat we'll talk soon see ya hey guys what's going on it's michael from american offshore replace it and put his own logo on it and that's that's what we can do for you uh number 57 it's terrible you need to hire somebody you need to hire an actor that's what i need to do all right hey guys what's going on it's michael from american offshore we're gonna replace it with a brand new one and we're gonna re Let's go ahead and remove it. It's four screws to remove this live oil lid. We'll take it off, take it back to the shop. It doesn't make any sense. Why am I Are you sure about that?